Hi, Ron. So, <laughs> good morning. So, uh, I'm Adriano, I'm a Mr. Core, and here's the project update. So, uh, for anyone that doesn't know what Mistro does, Mistro is a workflow, uh, workflow engine. It provides workflow as a service. It allows people to write workflows without in Yako or to, to write stuff that you don't really have to write code and allows you to have a high level language. Uh, it was found in the Havana, uh, Havana release of OpenStack. Right now it has over 50 contributors. Uh, pretty much every Red Hat uh, triple, uh, de uh, every triple deployment uses it since Newton. Uh, and it's deployed on 5% of the cloud uh, as, as workflow engine for OpenStack, but it's also used on other places like CERN, which makes me really happy because I'm fastidious. So, <laughs> uh, so uh, some of the features that were landed on Rocky, uh, one of the most important ones, uh, one of the most important ones, it's the execution events and notification server. That allows you to create webhooks to your workflows and split like huge workflows that sometimes have a task that takes too long into more manageable, manageable uh, workbooks and workflows. It's defined per workflow execution, so each execution can have its own notifications and, and can uh, notify all events of, that are listening for, for that that call. Uh, we also added uh, services for Tacker, Vintage, Manila, Killing, and Zoom. Some of them don't know what they do, sorry. Uh, and another thing that landed in Rocky that was good for people that have huge workflows with many actions is that we are able to cache workflow, uh, workflow actions now. So uh, many of the large workflows that have they have a huge amount of reasonable, uh, repeatable uh, actions, and those are caching. Uh, that got a huge improvement for some of the large workflows in performance. We have a new heartbeat mechanism that uh, detects when the action fails. It's, in Rock, it's still um, based on a scheduler, but that changes on, on Stein. And that allows us to know when, when the task is, we don't have to wait that much for a task to fail. We can get it and, and uh, report it easily or faster. There were a huge number of uh, tolerance and infrastructure failures, uh, <laughs> improvements too. So uh, a lot of them land on Rocky. There are some more uh, bug fixes, a lot of lo bug fixes uh, red loaded for Stein. And that's, that's allowing for more robust service. Uh, in the previous version, you could delete executions when they were running, and that would cause all, call, uh, all kinds of problems for, uh, for the environment, for Mistral to recover. So now on, from Rocky on, we have a force parameter. When you want to delete executions that are running, you have to, uh, you have to pass the force parameter, otherwise they will not delete, uh, allow you to delete. So you can still do that if you know what you're doing, but removes the chance of random or, or, or just messing up your environment. Another thing that landed, uh, and that was really important for us, uh, it wasn't that important for us in Triple O, but that was a massive improvement for some of the other use for Mistro, is that the namespace support for workbooks. Uh, it was usually just for workflows, but now a full workbook can have a namespace that allows you to have, if you're open to users, uh, they don't have to have a unique name for their workflows because you're in a multi-use environment. That could be a problem, like you're trying to create an workflow that someone or other person created the same name. That was not allowed. Now you can. And unless you specify it for backwards compatibility, it defaults to the full namespace, so if you're just not using it, it's completely transparent to you. Um, yeah. Also, uh, from Rocky on, uh, the standard MAU action can do much more 
stuff to, related to how email should behave with CC, BCC, and HTML formatting. That gives us like better appearance when we're dealing with external users or, or processes. So in Stein, I'm a little, going a little bit fast, sorry. In Stein, what has already merged is, as I said, there are huge improvements in performance. Uh, anything that has too many tasks waiting for a join, that was too much pulling on that, it's, uh, that's, that's been solved and that's huge improvement for some of our uh, users that have massive tasks with like thousands of actions. Uh, there's an integrity checker that was, uh, when it ran, it was not the best performance and that was optimized. And also the heartbeat checker that I said before, now it doesn't run on schedule, it does in a separate way, which was uh, the problem with schedule that when we start and stop and start again, it would cause problems, you might have two schedulers running or two schedulers looking for that task and that when you have loads of them, you have overload of uh, tests doing the same thing. That's not the case anymore in Stein. Oh, yeah. Uh, huge number of bug fixes. Yeah. So, in progress. We have workflow error analysis that's been in progress for a while and it might not be ready for sign, but that allows you to drill down and debug what went wrong with your workflow, with your actions, and get more visual and specified way instead of like using Mr. Commands to dig down and get what you, what you do. Because the usual flow is that you get the execution ID, you probe the result, then you get the actions, that you get the execution IDs of the actions, then, then you can drill down a lot. But with the error, uh, workflow error analysis, that's much more visual and easier. There's more support for execution events and notification servers. Right now, we just support webhooks, but uh, we are, we're working on more uh, ways to do that. Probably, that's probably going to land on Stein. We depend on, on other, other factors, but that's in progress. Uh, a good thing for if you're running clusters or if you're running more than one uh, Mr. Server engine nodes is that now uh, we, uh, it's, it's in review, uh, it's the graceful shutdown of servers that allows you to scale down uh, if, you have, if you're trying to run AJ. Uh, better, uh, even better uh, tolerance to infrastructure problems. And Oh, it's an echo. Uh, and there was like a, a tooling uh, to developing custom actions, like a cookie cutter recipe that you can, if you want to do a custom action, you can like kickstart you and just makes you almost there. And there's improvements on docs that are merging. Beyond Stein, there is for the integration that is uh, scheduled, that's on a roadmap, Kubernetes, Ansible Tower, there's more. Uh, we still have some, uh, we got all the low hanging fruit from, for performance and stability, but there's still some high hanging fruit that we have to tackle. And the, one of the biggest tech debt that we have right now is that blocking mode. Uh, we're using uh, Oslo message blocking mode f because the MySQL drive uh, doesn't quite work well with eventlet for us. So we are forced to use that. And we try some experimentals with, with eventlet. It's better than it was on Rocky, but still gives us some, some, some problems with the database. So that's still ongoing. We've been talking to the Oslo people. Uh, They're deprecating and removing Einstein. Uh, they got to keep it a little bit further for us to, to use it. But that's probably the main, the main uh, issue that we have to tackle in the future. So, 
find us, it's easy. We have our own uh, ERC channel on OpenStack Mistral, free node. We are always welcome to new contributors. We do, instead of having uh, meetings on OpenStack meetings out or something, we have office hours. That's uh, three times a week. Uh, someone is going to start a meeting on the OpenStack Mistral uh, channel. Uh, they have like time, zone, time zones for everyone that's even one at the middle of the night for us, but for us here in the Europe, but we have, we try to reach all time zones. And that's it. Any questions? Thank you.